Happy New Year to you. It's 2016 now. I retained the Dual Master Pendant throughout the end of 2015. It's the first time I've done that in my life. I am uh, joined by the uh, tassel-y flicker <laughs> right here. Scoot Plute. Scoot Plute, a.k.a. Cecily. Yep. I broke my cell phone. That's the bad news. That's some of the bad news. Um, some more bad news before it gets good is that I was having lunch with Cecily at one of our favorite Thai restaurants today, Busara's in Bellingham. I recommend them. Mm-hmm. Four out of five stars is the amount of spiciness you want to get. Their rating is five out of five stars <laughs> because they are delicious. Anywho, we were enjoying some time there. We put our order in, and I saw the Sprint store across the street. I knew I had to make my cell phone payment, so I ran across the parking lot. I sprinted, if you will, pun intended, leaving Cecily behind. Once I get to Sprint, we start talking about how I'm eligible for an upgrade. This is where things get bad quick. They told me I could get an iPhone 6, and I'd be paying less each month than I was for my iPhone 4, which had just broken the day before. So by this point, I'm of course all ears. Meanwhile, I was texting Cecily our food had arrived. Oh no! I'm knee deep in paperwork and our food's sitting there. I, 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 I ditched you. I ditched you. Yes, you did. That's, that's as far as that story goes. <laughs> Eventually, I got the phone and I showed back up. So now I am the owner of an iPhone 6S. I don't know much about it. Uh, I know it's nice, but uh, if if you can tell me any of the cool features this has, that would be awesome, because then I can use them. Um, so, it's like I got the new phone, but I definitely paid a price. <laughs> it wasn't right what I did, but I've learned a lesson. Mm-hmm. Well, it's a good thing you're a healer. Eh. Hey. So if you could, by doing one thing, make an improvement to WoW, what would your most desired improvement be? I guess, maybe this is like, you know, lots of, maybe this is something that lots of vanilla players resonate with, I don't know, but I, I think that, like the one thing that I would do would be to make it so you had to pay attention to get stuff done. Um, they made it really easy to quest, because it's like, you don't have to ever look at it. and Like you don't have to read it. Yeah, I mean, we, we probably have had less than five quests that we have, like, failed to do because we didn't read it. Your thing is make it more like you have to really focus, kind of like vanilla? Just, original. just... Because I'm going to pick one thing, the thing is that it's not just, like, it doesn't show you on the map where you need to go. Like, you have to oh. read it, and you have to know, like, when it says Eastern Plague Lands, you got to, like, be able to get to the Eastern Plague Lands. Oh. Like, it just doesn't show you a big blue something. Like, for me, that would be an improvement, because I've, we've now leveled this game, like, we've leveled up to, like, high 80s, and it's a little boring. Because you just, like, get the quest, go to the blue spot, do whatever you need to do with the blue spot, go turn in the quest. Like, it used to be that I would read it and be like, oh, i got to go figure out, like, where this is, and I'd learn more about the place, mm-hmm. right? Like, I'd learn more about the cave that I have to go to. to you know, that's the thing I'd change. Mm-hmm. With that said, let's kick this boss's Gosh. It's interesting because after playing enough characters, you would eventually get to the same point because you would like know where everything was, so you I, wouldn't have I to would read it. I would feel great about that. Point. But it would feel like an accomplishment. Right. And you would feel like, I can do this where other players can't because mm-hmm. I have spent the time doing it. Or you could even be like, you could sell yourself as a questing guide. Oh, man. Oh, we got to get those, yeah, the, the R's. We got to... The little babies. Everyone get your doubt. Oh, boy. Nice block. Done did it. Perfecto. Scoot, don't doubt yourself. Oh, the scooter flute dad is big. Mm-hmm. Scooter. He's kicking my butt. It's that staff again. The cool dragon stick. Ooh. 
Now I'm just seeing video games I want to design, and because of my disappointment with Transformers, I would really like to do an MMO Transformers game where it's kind of like WoW, where you've got the Autobots and the Decepticons, like two different factions, but you don't have to necessarily pick or stay with one the whole time. Because hmm. something with Transformers a lot is the idea of defecting. Hmm. Somebody used to be a Decepticon, somebody yeah. used to be an Autobot. Like, hmm. So the defection property is a pretty cool one. Oh, definitely. Like, I've always seen myself as an Autobot who used to be a Decepticon. Hmm. Like, I, like, like a Dinobot from Beast Wars. He was a Predacon, became a Maximal. Like, bad guy, good guy. <laughs> Which the, but the most tragic, like the most evil characters, I think, are the good guys that turn bad. Yeah. Because like you were on the side of justice, yeah, freedom, yeah. all that, and then you've you've fallen. You've gone to selfishness, and it's so heartbreaking. Yeah. It's awesome. If I think I see kind of like I know he, he's a Predacon, but I always saw Rampage as being kind of a gray area character. Yeah, because he started out as a like. Yeah, he is a gray area character, and, and there are other, other characters like that, too, that are, like, middle of the road. You were specifically talking about, though, with that, the concept for your MMORPG, right? Not your one change to WoW, but... Yeah, it was more of just like, oh... The, if you designed a, a, a Transformers game, like, yeah. I would really like, like it to be, you can design your own Transformer. Yeah, And, like, and interact with the sure. ones from the show. Like they would be the the thrall and the lich king and the yeah. all the characters that are given the quests and stuff. Um, and I want to change to WoW. Ugh. I guess would be the honestly less of a focus on loot and more of the focus on ability. Like, I think Batman Arkham does a really good job of that. Of you do level up, you do get stronger and more life and more armor. But you get given like abilities you can use, but it's the player's skill with how you use them. Like you've got to do kind of like a combo, I guess is what you think you think of it as. Hopefully that means you'll like level one hundred more than, because mm -hmm. at that point it is like once you have the best gear, yeah, it's all about skill. I have my game improvement for a while. Wait. So for new players, when you come on, you get a. Uh, an aerial guided tour of all the continents and a little bit of what the lore is for each of the characters. This is before you even get to create your first character. And you can skip it if you want and go right into it, but you just get to fly over the land, find out where the Torn are in relation to the humans, and just a little bit about them. That's cool. And then you decide. That's pretty much like an objective improvement. I think that would be nice. My one changed to WoW would be that you can have more customization of your character regarding its abilities because as it stands I'm very similar to any other protection warrior like you just pick your specialization and then you're basically the same exact character copy pasted the only difference being what talent you picked yeah. but just having only your talent your talents be what separates you from other people of your spec, I think that's not enough. Like, it gets to a point where it's like a fighting game, and it's like, I'm a Ryu, and I'm fighting a Kami, or whatever, and like, any Kami is just gonna have the same abilities as any other Kami, unless is, they pick like the other special or whatever, or is super. That something they're addressing with Legion? I think that they're focusing on like, differentiating the specializations more from one another, oh. but... I don't, I don't know if they're adding much more customization within specs. I think one change I would make is there's a, a five minute cooldown for any uh, player versus player stuff in the open world. Like, if someone kills you, they've got to wait five minutes before they can engage in any sort of battle with you at all. So you get time to run away. Uh huh. That would eliminate some camping and stuff. Mm -hmm. It can be fun sometimes though. To yeah. engage in battle, but like not when you're just being like ganked over and over again. Gank hill. <laughs> Gank it, Bobby. <laughs> Gank it, Bobby. <laughs> Gank it, Bobby. I sell PVP accessories. 
Oh, do we not have to watch them dance? You all just dipped out and I was watching the monkey dance. 